Hi guys, Kim here from the Jungle Scout marketing team. And this is my video update for the Million Dollar Case Study Europe. So if you've not been following along yet, I have joined Greg Mercer on the Jungle Scout Million Dollar Case Study. And during this part, we are finding a product to launch in Europe, in the UK. And I'm going through this process myself with Greg's mentorship. And our goal is to raise $1 million worth of revenue and we are donating all of the proceeds to charity. So last week's session was session number three. And in this session, we went through supplier outreach to get a better idea of cost for our top product ideas and profit calculations. And then after that, that allowed me to land on my final decision to launch a product, which is going to be sleeping bags. So I'm going to launch this product in the UK on amazon.co.uk, providing there's no hitches or bumps along the way with this particular product idea from this point onwards. My homework for this week is to continue my supplier outreach specifically for this product. And hopefully I'm going to reach out to lots of different suppliers and narrow it down to sort of a top three who I would want to order samples from. So for now, I just wanted to show you a few updates of a few of the responses that I've had from suppliers so far. So I've just started a few that I want to share for this update. So here's the first one. And on this one, they've just put, hi, Greg, here, here the quote. Um, and then literally all they've given is a price for the two different sizes of sleeping bag that I asked for. And they said that they could print a logo. Um, now to me, obviously, if, if you missed it last week, it's on the blog now with the recap and the full template. But I asked, you know, I gave a whole load of specifications of the kind of sleeping bag that I wanted to, to manufacture. And then I also asked specific questions, numbered questions. And this particular supplier has not bothered to answer most, well, any of those questions really, apart from give me a quote. So straight away, I don't really think that this is a supplier that will be looking to pursue because they don't seem like willing to spend time on responding to my email. And that indicates that they probably wouldn't be willing to meet my demands. So here's another one. Um, so this one was quite positive. So they've answered all of my questions in numbered order, which is, you know, that's what I was hoping for. Um, they are a manufacturer, uh, not a trading company, which we covered last week, but we want, to tr we want to try and source our product from a manufacturer and not a trading company. And Helen here also sent me lots of pictures of um, their warehouse, other sleeping bags, and so this one looks really promising. And since then, she's actually sent me a follow-up to give me a timeline. So, and she's trying to help me out by avoiding the, the rush before Christmas. Um, so this supplier seems like a really good one. I'm interested in uh, speaking to this supplier further. Um, again, this is one where they've answered most of my questions. They've sent lots of details about the specification of the product that they would be manufacturing. And also they've sent some pictures of sleeping bags, the linings, the production line. So again, this one seems pretty positive. So for this week's session on Wednesday, I still have a whole host of questions that I need answered before I decide which suppliers to order samples from. For example, what are the common pitfalls that I can avoid? Um, I want to make sure that I'm not going to select a supplier that's not going to provide a strong relationship later on down the line. Um, I have more questions about Chinese business culture, about manufacturing processes. There's lots of things that I want to ask before I make that decision. And so this week, myself and Greg have Manuel joining us, and he really is an expert on this topic. He's spent 10 years working in Hong Kong. And so this week we're going to have a sort of interview style session and I'm going to ask all of the questions that I'm currently struggling with. And hopefully at the end of the session, I will be able to then move forward and make a decision with which suppliers to order my samples from. So I'm really excited for this week's session and we're going to be sharing lots of expert insights with someone who has spent a considerable amount of time working in China with manufacturers. So let's get real. How long is all of this taking me? Well, I'm actually going through a fairly stressful time right now. I am preparing to go to Budapest this week on Friday for the Jungle Scout retreat. So we're all getting together as a team in Budapest. 
Um, but alongside that, I've actually been planning to leave the UK and become a nomad and work whilst I travel. So I've actually been packing up my whole life, selling all of my belongings. And then obviously I also work for the Jungle Scout marketing team. So I've had a lot of responsibilities these past few weeks, but I've still found time to do my homework and keep up to date with the case study. Um, I would say it takes three to four hours per week, uh, each homework that we've set. And you can easily manage that with other commitments. My best advice would be to split it up and do sort of one hour per day. And then before you know it, you've, you've finished your homework for that week. And if you are following along in real time, that makes it a little bit easier because each session we do will be directly relevant to the point that you're at. Um, but even if you're not, don't worry, we post a recap each week and a replay of every single session. So you can follow along with this at your own pace if, if that's what you need to do as well. So with that being said, I really hope you can join us on Wednesday. As I've said, we've got Manuel joining us to give us some expert advice on sourcing that perfect supplier for your product. So make sure you are signed up if you aren't already and hope to see you there. Thanks for listening. Bye.